name is Rachel Healy. I'm Social Media Manager here with Paladin Security and I'm with Tamara Jackson to talk a bit about women in security. Hi Tamara. Hi. What's your title and your branch please? I'm the Vice President for the National Quality Standards and Support team and I work out of Vancouver branch but I get to travel all over to all the branches um, across the nation which is truly exciting and a great opportunity. And what does your team do? So our team is corporately responsible for each of their own niches. So we have the corporate HR talent director, uh, corporate occupational health and safety, corporate uh, operations and scheduling. We now just have a corporate uh, employee care coordinator who's just come on board. Um, corporate IT is shared, so uh, that Nelson gets to jump back and forth to two different groups, um, as well as, I'm trying to think, online developers. They've been enveloped into the corporate team as well now. Well, it's amazing. It's kind of a first in the industry. Definitely. The team, um, we kind of started out as it's organically grown throughout the company and we're building and building. Um, I think some of the other companies are starting to look at that venue, but for sure Paladin leads by far. And how did you get into security? I actually had no intentions of doing security. I originally started off uh, corrections. My father was 35 years uh, retired and thought that was definitely the venue I was going to go. I uh, did the training, was uh, lucky enough to be hired on at a remand center, did a couple of shifts and realized that's not the environment I wanted to be in. Uh, joined Paladin, um, just thinking it was going to be a quick step and um, kind of got sucked into the legacy as I like to say and uh, stayed ever since. Wow, so what did you start out as? A security officer? A security officer, uh, working at, at um, I think my first shifts were Robson Square, and then I went to Vancouver General for a bit. Then we, uh, in 1994, we got BCIT, and that was a huge uh, flagship contract for us. We've had it ever since, um, coming up to renewal again. So that's that's good for us, for sure. It shows what Paladin has invested in. It's a partnership there. So you've grown from security officer right up to VP, so it just goes to show yeah. the, the evolution <laughs> that can happen. She's living proof. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I, every day, kind of wonder how I ended up where I am. Um, a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of faith back and forth with definitely the, the company and myself because uh, they've invested in me and, and I think the world of the company. And how, how do you see the image of women in security? It's amazing how much it's changed because when we first um, started or when I was an officer, the ratio was maybe 20 to 1. Um, definitely as far as supervisors, I didn't know any female supervisors. Uh, CSMs definitely not heard of and, and higher. Um, now when you go to a, an RFP walkthrough, you'll see more women and, and that's even up to a couple of years ago you didn't see women at the, at the walkthroughs and now you do. Um, higher levels, we're just starting to, to achieve those positions. So where do you see it going then for women in security in the industry? I think it's going to be a common uh, denominator to have a female VP in most organizations, let alone security. Mm -hmm. um, I think the roles are evolving as far as women kind of being able to, to, to understand they can have both. They can have the family plus they can have the career. Uh, it's, it's a tough juggle, I'm not going to say it's not, but you definitely can do it. Um, and I think women are starting to voice their opinions a little bit more and um, be trusted in the industry and have a different viewpoint of the industry. So more women are going to be coming up through the ranks and I think that's a, that's a strong positive for us. And finally, what's the best piece of advice you'd be given that you'd like to pass on to people thinking about getting into security or women in security? I think, and, I, and I'm going to speak from Paladin experience, that honesty is truly the best tool that you'll have. Uh, even with clients, if you make a mistake, coming forward and saying, look, we made a mistake, but we're going to fix it. Uh, with your officers, saying to them, uh, I'm going to have your back, always, and meaning it. No, don't say it and not mean it. Um, I think with other women, knowing that it's not uh, a tool to bring down somebody, but honesty will build that person. And to know that when I look behind me, I want someone to take my job because that gives me an opportunity to move up in the company. That's Excellent. The yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Tamara. And this is just the first in our series for women in security. Please connect with us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and enjoy the conversation. Thanks.